I got this little revolver toy cap gun. I've been really enjoying Westworld lately. The only problem with it is it's bright orange and it's kind of ugly. I've been working with some new techniques for painting and aging techniques, so let's give it a shot and see if I can turn this little orange toy into something kind of cool. What I think is really neat about this little cap gun is that it's break open, like a Schofield would be. Um, I'm really happy with this line of guns. So what you do is you hang it up. Lucky for me, it pops right on there. You're gonna give a good coat of this black spray paint. I've been really happy with the way this Rust-Oleum 2X works. You give it a good coat, spray it all over, and you're supposed to kind of, you know, go a little bit at a time, this and that. It's a dollar eighty-five for this cap gun, so I'm not too worried about it. Give it a good coat, squirt it down. Make sure it's nice and coated. I don't really want to go and do two, three layers of it. Don't forget to get the cylinder. Get the good spray in. You want to be careful not to get it all over the cylinder, because my last one I did kind of jammed up and didn't cycle so well. I found that the hardest part of any project for me is waiting for the paint to dry. I'm just not all that patient. So, one coat, good enough. You know, it didn't turn out that great. Still some orange poking through, but the silver's going to be coming up over through it, and it's going to look pretty good. The cylinder, about the same. Needed some work. But here's the silver, metallic. With my dry brush. Um, just give it a good old coat right over the top. And it should turn out pretty good, honestly. Just make sure to do it kind of dry. Um, the less paint on there, the better. You can see the silver mainly highlights the black underneath. Give it kind of an aged metallic look. Um, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. A clear coat and it will be set. I'm going to try something with the handle that I've never done before. As of right now, I just have it painted just a brownish tan color. Um, I'm going to go through and use a darker, uh, like a black maybe a darker orange color. Well, it seems a bit counterproductive. I'm mixing black and orange to get the desired wood tone color for the grip. With the grip all painted, I am going to apply a clear coat. I'm using a gloss clear coat. I prefer matte. All I got is gloss, so it's going to have to do. It's going to have a good old timey look to it. The grip didn't turn out exactly perfect, but it doesn't really matter because it's just for fun. Right? Right. The clear coat is still a bit tacky, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Very nice, very aged, very realistic look, and it functions really well. You can really see a difference with the before and after. I'm very happy with it. The kids will love it.